fantastic. <laughs> okay, if your answer is yes, I want to learn to fly, what's your next step? Well, the single most important thing to do is to pick the proper instructor. Let me show you how. I'm going to use Eric DeFore as an example. There are many other good instructors. Eric has taught many of them. He trains instructors as well as students. The training videos are a big help. Also, you should be taught basic maintenance on how to break the machine down, how to do routine care. A lot of time will and should be spent on how to lay out a chute, how to hook up the equipment properly. Now you should do this over and over and over until you can do it in your sleep. When you're up here, it's no time to wonder if, oh gee, I wonder if I hooked up my risers properly. Whether you are foot launching or flying a trike, kiting is very important. If you can kite the chute, you can fly. Eric spends a lot of time on this. You should be able to do a forward launch as well as a reverse. Many instructors don't do this. The forward launch is used when there's little or no wind. The reverse is when there is more wind. This pilot had pulled it up backwards, spun around, and is taking off. Runs like a girl. You notice that? As a matter of fact, it is a girl. Leslie Britt, PPG pilot. Yeah, guys, girls fly too, both foot launch and trike. A flight simulator is invaluable. It allows the student to power up the motor and act exactly like he's flying. Again, the flight is simulated. The takeoff, the landing, the actual flight. All of the instructions are given. The wooden word, verbal instructions. There's no doubt when Eric says break, what he means by break. Some instructors will say, okay, now pull the brake down. Well, how far? How far could be too far? When he says pressure, he means pressure. The pilot knows exactly how far down to pull it. There's no confusion and there shouldn't be. And should the pilot for some reason or other lose radio communication, it's not a problem because he already knows the pattern and he knows to turn and he'll come back and there is Eric giving him hand signals and he brings him down to land. This is Sherry Coffey. She just soloed last week on the Sky Car. Holy mackerel. Did it feel good? Look at this guy. Yes, it did. This is the guy. I say I'm crying. My apology for the lousy video, but that particular camera just has to have really bright light. We fly the St. John River quite often, and believe me, even if you didn't fly, there's a reward in just being out there this time of day. I admit I did enhance this sky just a little bit, but then beauty is in the eyes of the beholder and I just behold it that morning is one beautiful morning. By the way, uh, Eric's lessons include a minimum of 25 flights. And at this point, you should be pretty competent and be able to fly by yourself well. So basically, folks, if you want to fly, it's the most inexpensive form of flying, the safest form of flying doesn't require a license, but it does require training. Get online, find an instructor, talk to previous students. Uh, I recommend Eric DeFore, of course, but if you're not in the area, can't get in the area, call Eric. He'll help you out. Maybe he knows an instructor or somebody he can recommend. And, oh, I almost forgot our solo. Hold on here. When Eric and you are both comfortable and you feel you're ready, it's time to solo. And don't worry because Eric's with you all the way. This train pays off now.
And this is what it's all about. After a couple of turns around the field, come in for a landing. Let's see how we do here, Glenn. Oh, note the two radios, both pilot and instructor have them. If one should fail, you got the other, plus the hand signals. Safety, safety, safety. There we have a pro landing on his feet on his first solo flight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> On your feet, so it, your friend. first right. landing. Sweet, sweet, on sweet. On your first landing, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Are you, ha are you happy you did it? Yes, very. Well, there you have it. Remember to find a good instructor. Remember to learn to kite. Be sure you can take off forward and in reverse. You can't use a reverse in a no-win situation, and believe me, early in the morning and late in the evening, it's some of the nicest flying you'll ever get. Come on out, enjoy the great flying, the great folks, and quite often the great stakes. Thanks for listening. <laughs>